Hey, Ben, I'm honored to be the second participant in this game show. <laughs> but uh, um, you made the argument that the, uh, gender cape, the gender pay gap is a myth. Yes. And um, one of the main reasons this, that this is the case is because that female STEM education is at a lower level than it is for men. Um, females are continually discouraged to not go into STEM fields at a rate that's like much lower than men are. So I was wondering what you feel about this argument and um, like, you know, how you, do you like think it should be remedied or like nothing should be Well, I mean, done I or? think that it's free country. You can choose what profession to go into. If the idea is that the pay gap is largely due to profession choice, that's obviously true. If you look at a lot of dangerous professions, firemen, people who work on oil rigs, it tends to be men because men want to go into those professions. It's also true that men tend to spend more hours in the workplace. Uh, it's also true that women take, tend to take more time off with babies. That's not a bad thing, by the way. It's not a rip on women. It's always bewildering to me when feminists are like, it's terrible that women take time off to be with their babies. Why? I think it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, I, I mean, completely agree. But I think there is a societal discouragement for women to go into these particular fields. I was wondering if like, you, you as like a problem. I don't see a ton remedy. of evidence that there's societal disparagement of women going into being a firefighter. What I actually see is that there's an affirmative action program in many of these cases for women going into things like firefighting because there's now an affirmative attempt to get women into I was referring to fields. STEM fields, like science, technology. So, okay, so the STEM, okay, so James Damore has an interesting memo that got him fired from <laughs> Google on this. Um, but, it is, but it is certainly true that when you look at, for example, what women major in in college, the number of women who major in STEM studies, which has nothing to do with getting a job and paying, it, it, women major in, in humanities much more than men do. Men are just interested in this stuff more. That's not a terrible thing. I don't see why that's Yeah, but I mean, be like, there's societal thing. influence that occurs even before the college level, right? I mean, I don't know that there are a lot of people saying to a seventh grader girl who's good at math, you need to stop that and go read some poetry. I mean, let, let me say, I have, <laughs> I mean, I, I have, I have three younger sisters, right? I, I have, uh, my wife is a doctor, by the way. So talking about STEM, my wife's a doctor. Uh, my mom runs a comp my mom runs companies. That's what she does. So I'm very much for women in the workplace and being able for them to choose what they want to choose. I really don't see a lot. Uh, if you can t tell me the person who's out there going, women in science, fie, fie, then I'll stand with you and say, yeah, that, that person's adult. That's really stupid. You know, if a woman wants to go into science and she's qualified for the job the same way that a, an, an equally qualified guy is great. What I don't want is lowering of standards in science to meet any particular person. And I also don't want this idea that because a woman chooses not to go into science, and a lot of women choose not to go into science, and that creates a disproportionate percentage based on individual choice, that suddenly this is some sort of group discrimination happening in front of us.